Welcome to my Ogre 2.2 setup video. At this point in time, I've already installed Visual Studio Community 2019. Now I'm downloading Ogre from the website. We're looking for the 2.2 Cerberus release. It's also under the Ogre Next title. We'll need the quick start scripts for Ogre 2.2. The start scripts don't require the MSVC SDK or the samples to be downloaded. However, I did download them. Now I'm bringing up the documentation page here. Here you can see that all the downloads are in .7z format. I've already downloaded 7-zip and installed it. Here I accidentally clicked on extract here instead of extract all files. Now I'm just moving them into their own folder called Ogre Samples. Now I'm checking which version of Visual Studio I have in order to determine which batch script to run. By editing the bat file, we can get a better understanding of what the requirements are to run it. And I noticed that we need to install CMake as well as Git. Between downloading CMake and Git, I tried installing NVIDIA drivers because I forgot that I'm running in a VM without uh, GPU pass-through. So please ignore the NVIDIA installation. I've now just moved all the Ogre downloads to my documents, basically the location where I want my SDK to be. I personally don't care for Vim as an editor, uh, so I switched over to Nano during the install. So here we can see that the setup page is not really up to date. It's telling you you need Mercurial. We're actually using Git right now. It's now hosted on GitHub. At the bottom of the GitHub page, we can see the Windows dependency list. And we're going to download the Windows 10 SDK. Now I paste the build script that I'm going to use into the root document folder and I try and run it once. And at this point I find out that there is an error with the SDL2 library installation. Along with the SDL2 error, there was also a permissions denied error. I try running the command prompt as administrator.
but still receive the SDL2 error. The first page on the search was the exact solution needed for the SDL2 problem. I wasn't exactly sure what file needed to be modified for the VC runtime, so I just started opening the SDL related CMake files. I ended up searching for extra libs and just finding next until I found the libraries for Win32 native and then inserted the VC runtime before saving the file. I added a pause to the build script in order to give myself time to modify the CMake file after Ogre downloads all of the dependencies. However, I modified the wrong batch file, so it never actually paused. There was still enough time after the download to modify the make file. This process took quite a long time. I originally intended to create a project from scratch within Visual Studio, linking all of the libraries myself. However, I noticed one of the sample projects had a make file and decided to build that. Building these sample projects requires that you link the Ogre dependencies. However, at the time I didn't realize that you required Windows PowerShell to use this utility.
I also forgot to create the top level dependencies folder that I would be creating the symbolic link within. Within CMake, I selected the project to build and then simply appended a new build folder within that project. Once CMake completes building the project, you'll find the solution file within your build folder that you had chosen in the CMake options. So the final step is to simply open the solution file and build out the project. Verify that it builds correctly.